Aries. This chapter is about understanding the complete concepts of Aries. First of all, I'd like to tell you that array is nothing but a kind of a data structure or a container which can hold fixed number of items and the fixed number of items which it holds includes the same data type. Like if I have an array and it includes a container with some number of items and those items will be all numbers, all string, all float or let it be all integers. It can't be a combination of one number, one string or something like that. So that will come to a combination in uh, comparison to that of structures which is used in C. So arrays is something which includes everything like all data types together, like items with the same data types together and consistently maintaining it as a data structure type. So data structures use arrays to implement various algorithms. So most of the data structures make use of arrays with the implementation of algorithms. So there are certain terminologies which are followed for arrays. So let's have a look like what are those terminologies. First one is element. Element is nothing but every item is considered as an element in array. So every item which is stored in an array is called as an element. The next comes is the index, the position of an element. So whatever the position it is defined in the element is considered as a index position for an array. Now we had a look about what is the element, what is the index. So let's go through a deep through or a deep deep into the array structure. So this is what is the elements, this is the index. So arrays can be declared in various ways in various languages. But now as far as the concept comes for JavaScript because we are focusing on the aspects of implementation of JavaScript in arrays. So these are those uh, elements and indexes and every element in and the index number in an array it always starts with zero. So that is what is the main concern all about. Let it be for any element it always starts with zero. So as it is given in this diagram. Like we have elements, say for 10 elements. So we can't say the element of say 35 is the first element of the index number 1. It's like the 0th element and then it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that gives you the size as 10. So index starts with the 0 and the array length is 8 which means it stores 8 elements. Suppose if I say now, for example, my array length is 10, it means that I can store 10 elements. And each element in the array is always accessed with the help of the index number. If I say the first element or the second element of this array structure, which I have right now, so it means the 42nd, that is the 42 number. If I say 8th element, then it means 26. So in this way with the help of index, it's like a basic example of understanding the key value pair. Like key is the index number and value is the value that is the element. So this is the complete array structure all about. So starting I'll repeat every index number or the index starts with a zero. And array length if it is specified as 10, it means that I can store 10 elements in it. If it is specified greater than 10 or with some peculiar parameter, then accordingly the value and the length of the array will maintain. Next thing is, each element can be accessed via its index. So it's with the help of index, you get the value of the element. So that is what is array all about, like maintaining the index number and the element number. The next we will understand about the basic operations of array. The various basic operations include transfers, insertion, deletion, search, update. Transfers means it prints all the array elements one by one. Say for the previous slides which we have, if I say transfers, it means that it will print all the elements with the help of index number. Suppose my index number starts with a zero, then it will print accordingly like 35, 33, 42, 10, 14, 19, 27, 44, 26 and then 31. It is like it is the complete structure like I have 0th element 35 so I'll print 35 first 
and I have the ninth element as 31. So I'll print ninth element in the last order. So in this way, transverse works. So transverse is nothing but printing all the array elements one by one. Next comes is the insertion. See, an array, the value inside an array and the element can be inserted and removed accordingly. So insertion is nothing but adding an element to the particular index. So that is the uh, operation, basic operation of array when it comes to adding up a value in a particular index. So this functionality of insertion is available in uh, uh, JavaScript or any of the programming languages. Like you have to just mention the index number where you want to add the array and the initial value if anything was there it will be removed automatically and this array value will be replaced on it. Because it is not a stack structure like we have a pop up or like we want to take it away from the e extract. So it is like the value existing in the index will be removed and the new value will be replaced. Then comes the deletion. Suppose it happens that in some index you want to delete the element in it. So deletes an element at the given index Index is the property for deletion. So this is the major property if you want to remove a particular element from the given index. So that is deletion all about. The next comes is the search. Searches an element using the given index or a value. Searching is a very, uh, you can say, a primary kind of a functionality in array. You have n number of values in an array. It can be, say, for 100 to, say, million. So, in that functionality, searching up for a particular value with the respect to the index value is also a major functionality which array includes it. So, it is like searching an element using the given index or using the value. Like you have a value you want to tra trace for the index number. Or you have the index number, but you want to trace for the value associated to the index number. So, such type of search is available in an array. Next comes is the update. Updates an element at the given index. Like insertion inserts it, updates element, uh, it's like it replaces from the existing value and insert whatever the value it is present in it. So, these are the different type of operations, whereas like transfers is just for printing up the values. Insertion is for inserting. Now for insertion, there is also a major concept like what type of insertion actually takes place in an array. So insertion includes various type of parameters like inserting at the beginning of an array or inserting at a particular given index or inserting after the given index or it can be like insertion before the given index of an array. So these all operations are present if we consider for insertion property. So that is the various uh, like sublisting of different type of insertions which take place in an array. For deletion operation, deletion always refers to removing from the particular index. So deletion refers to removing an existing element from the array and reorganizing all the elements of the array. So that is complete understanding of deletion. The next comes is the search. As I mentioned, search comes in two criteria. First can be like you can go to a search operation with the index number. Like you have the index number but you want to get the associative value for it. Or it can be like you have the value but you want to trace for all the index numbers with the given value. Then in such an operation, it comes like a search. So you can perform a search for an array element. So search for the array element is possible based on the value or based on the index. Last but not the least as I mentioned is the update operation. Update as the name suggests is like updating a particular value. So update operation refers to updating an existing element from the array at a given index. The difference between insertion and update is that update removes the values it is like it replaces the values. Update replaces the values of the existing index. Suppose I have the index value, say for this slide. I have the index value 1, but the value for it is 33. But I want to replace it, say, from 92 as the value. So update just removes this 33 and keeps the updated value as 92. It does not insert a complete new value or something. 
So that is the basic difference between insertion and update. So these were the basic operations of array. Now moving on to the next chapter, we will understand about the implementation of array in JavaScript, like how we perform printing, insertion, deletion, or searching for a particular element in an array, and update. So let's move on to our next chapter, which is nothing but implementation of arrays with JavaScript.